Hello, and today I'll be doing a first impressions for the game Torchlight. Torchlight is an action RPG game created by Runic Games. It was originally released in October 2009. This game has quite a similar layout on Games to Diablo 1 and 2, and it should, seen as a few of the developers from the previous Diablo games moved on to create Torchlight. So let's have a look at the settings before we begin. As you can see, there's full screen anti analyzing as it should. Render behind the walls, which pretty much lets you see the enemies like slightly but not fully when they're behind the wall. Resolution, which just gives you the normal options right here. Shadows, which is set to very high. As, and particle detail. These can be changed if your computer is not the best, so no worries about that. The game isn't very tasking on your computer anyway, so most computers should be fine with this game. So let's have a look. Netbook mode. I'm not too sure what that is. Maybe it's to save energy or for computers that or netbooks which aren't very good graphically, I'm not too sure. Show tips. Yeah, why not? Show event info, maybe that's for boss and show blood. Of course we want blood. So let's get started. New character. Alright, first class. Hero class. Destroyer. The destroyer excels at melee combat and channels the power of his ancestors. Yes you do. Next up, the Vanquisher. The Vanquisher is an expert marksman and uses traps to confuse and deliberate her foes. I probably pronounced that wrong as well. Alchemist. The alchemist channels the power of the ember to attack from afar and summon minions to inside. So it pretty much seems like Destroyer is a warrior, Vanquisher is a archer, and Alchemist is a mage. If you haven't noticed yet at the side, it gives you the option as a pet, a dog, or a cat. Really weird looking cat, nonetheless. That is the size of a dog. <laughs> so I'm going to go with an Alchemist and name my pet Ben. In my character, Swift. Right, let's begin. Easy, normal, hard, very hard, and hardcore. Death is permanent. Let's go with normal. Hardcore seems to be more of swaying towards people that want a challenge. Ember is the essence of magic and the keystone of my art. Ember is the essence of magic. You selfish guy. The voice acting so far, and it seems um, quite familiar if you've ever played Fable before. The voice acting is quite similar to that. So let's begin. As you can see looking at the screen, it's very, very similar to Diablo. Let's begin. No, I don't want to talk to you peoples. Hello? I will help. Longer. You all right, Sil? Rest here a while. I'm going to head to finish the job. I have a job for you. Okay. It's no wonder Master Ulrich sent for my help. The Ember Mines are overrun with these creatures. His letter was urgent, but I had no idea how dire things had become. I am Sil. Hello, Sil. That was my companion, Brink. We've only just arrived in Torchlight. And it looks like we're going to need some help. You look capable, and I can pay you well. Please, catch up to Brink before he gets himself killed. Okay, let's go get Brink. You have gained a task. A task? A quest.
I have arrived in Tortolite and begun my exploration of the tunnels below. These mines are vast and I glow with ember. I've never seen so rich a vein. Miners labor to extract it and take no heed of my warnings. I cannot blame them. I too cannot resist the pull of ember. Their ember is the same as that which afflicts me. The taint within it resonates with the corruption in my bones. I can feel it so clearly now. The light springs with the death and flows up through the veins. To purge myself of this evil, I must find the source. Let's begin. Right at the moment, as you can see, it's left click to attack with my glowy staff thing, so left click. And he blows up into a pile of blood. Let's blow up a wall out. God, oh god, leave me alone and right click to cast spells. Seems I have a quite a limited amount of mana though, so I'd best be careful with that. I'll just use my blowy up attack staff thing. Lad! No, I didn't go into blood. How unfortunate. I'm in the money. I'm in the money. Yay, more monies. So identify. So right click, left click. Okay. But no, if anyone's played um well, I'm just replay Diablo 1 or 2, but I played the Diablo 3 beta, and it's extremely similar to it. Like, all it seems is a bit more cartoony, like, Fable-styled. Are these little fellas here, them little miners, just seem a lot like kobolds from WoW, well, if you've ever seen them before. You take no candle. Hello. Hello. Let's do it. Nice. I got a bow. From what better description though, this game, like these kind of dungeons, they're actually different every single time you enter them, like the monster placement and also just the overall layout. So when repeating it, it can actually make the game have a lot more playability instead of like doing the same boring dungeon over and over. But overall I'm guessing when it's redone it's still going to be the same kind of dungeon, you know what you're going to be doing. So maybe it increases the playability a bit, but maybe not too much. But we'll have to see after I play the game a bit more. Level up! Right, is the skills like Diablo? Like talent tree of some course? Yes, there is. Increase my amber ball. I get to hit them harder with my magic weapon. Summons an imp. Super shocky hands. And armor expertise. I'm gonna go with the imp summon. Seems like fun. Let's begin. Ooh. God, I never saw that bit aside. So you got the skills upgrade. Five points, let's do it then. Three. Do the defense. Next time I'll do magic. Now how do I get across that bridge? Let's find out after the break. Well, I've already been down here, I know that much. Ooh, I have no idea where I'm going. Can I have a sat nav for this cave, please? Seems like a good idea. Ah, cobalt! 
Where am I going? <laughs> Is that a map? One sec. Map. Auto map. Right. Well, that's quite helpful. It lets you know where you've been. I know that Diablo 2 had this in it. So you can definitely tell that it's made by the exact same developers. Well, that's a great thing because you get you no, know, you're getting a good game out of this as well. Maybe a downfall of that was the lack of co-op because that's one of the things that drew people in when playing Diablo. They go to a LAN party or something or just like play with some friends. So maybe that's a negative thing, but the game's still great overall. If you like Diablo into these action RPG games. Gonna close this thing for now. How did I open it? <laughs> right, there we go. Right, Brink, where are you hiding? I'm coming for you. Mana. Mana, mana, na, 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 mana, 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 Take your time, Mr. Loading Screen. Why you no hit? Ouch. Oh god, I forgot my imps. Where's imp attack? Let's do imps. Imps. Go! Where are you, Mr. Imp? There you are. Now I'm going to call you Greg. Come on, Greg. Let's go. Right, that's equipped some... Oh. Well, it's automatically been equipped. That's quite interesting. Let's put that in there. I can't do that. Yes, you can. If it doesn't fit, make it fit. That is what she said. Get some mana then. I don't know what seems to have happened is that it's automatically equipped the bear items into the slots. That's quite interesting that. Ah, I didn't see that at the bottom as well. You can see um, how much XP and how close you are to leveling up. I really thought this game through. I'm quite impressed. Right, socketable item. Alright. Put this in there. Socket. So now when I attack, it gives me, it should give me mana. Let's have a test of this. Look at my mana. I attack that. And I gain mana. It's quite nice, that. Alright, let's move on, soldiers. The yeah, art design is quite nice as well, it gives it that um, classic feel from your games, but without like having it so it hurts your eyes a bit. The issue with playing um, Diablo 2 now is that, I, is that it really fell bad on your eyes, due to the 800 by 600 maximum resolution. But this game it's got a classic feel but looks really good. Where's Greg gone? Let's get another Greg. Hey Greg. Hello, oh, what the hell? Oh god. He doesn't look nice, does he? Stop hitting me.
Loot, 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 loot. But where do I go, Greg? Who are leveled up? Let's do level up stuff. Woo, another Greg. And I have magic. Exit, exit. Alright. Greg number two. Alright, so I'm gonna name Greg and Bob. Greg and Bob. Move on, soldier. Right, I don't know where I'm going. Automat. Oh, I should go up there. Got you. Good job, Automat. You have saved me once again. Hey, it's that guy. What's that? Right, so let's go save them. Did Syl send you yeah. after me? She must have thought I was in over my head again. Well, she's right. These monsters are getting stronger, and I could use your help. I'm going after the fiend that was attacking Syl on the bridge. Wait, yes, I will. To infinity! Ah, hello! And beyond! <laughs> what have we got here? So them town portal things. Why don't the monsters just use them and then it can attack the town? They didn't think it through very well, did they? As soon as they have these scrolls inside the place. Like, why don't they just give their army these scrolls and just attack us? Instead of hiding in these mines. Ouch. Why do they have these exploding barrels in their own place? I'm overburdened. I'm over... Oh, I'm full. Let's identify some stuff. Identify, identify, identify. Yes, you can! Oh, I run out. Right, is that better than mine? I don't have one. So you caught or equipped that, but not that. Wait, I want that, and I want that. And why not I have that? That's better? Right, what's better? A warp spear. Alright, that seems good enough. Let's move on, soldiers! Attack! And close that screen. And again, exploding barrel. God, it's a massive thing. I don't know what to call it. Level up. Uh, My inventory is full. Then unfull it. Wait. Dang. Do I drop stuff? Drop. 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 It's a hat. I like hats. Drop. 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 Let's move on. This is what was meant in the options by render walls and such. Uh, 
Yeah, you got one of these. Imp number three. No. Nope. Not another imp, but I'll take it. That's our magic. So give me more mana. Boom. Hey, it didn't explode on me. For once. Wait, I've already been this way. Saved again by it. Ooh. Right in the center there, you can see that thing. It's the way. Down we go. Follow the yellow but road. Take your time, let's do this! Right, so why are we in this cavern again? Like, the guy that was attacking was like... Oh my god, the fuck it! Oh, it's a thing. Uh oh, he looks mean. Oh, don't freeze! Sorry about that. Kaboom. I should really stop picking every little thing I should know. <laughs> Kaboom. Hmm. So first they were all exploded, now none of them are. Right, stop. It's better. You take no candle. Uh oh, two. Not two. Now yeah, leave me alone. Why you no die? Nice. Wait, identify the star. What's a quarter star? Is it a quarter of a star? Wait. That, is that good? For, no, I'm not even level five. Let's identify this thing then. Yeah, I'm level 3. Yeah. A belt. I already have a belt. Do I have gloves? Let's get some new gloves. I don't even do electric damage. I was useless. I don't want to pick it up! Rah! Level up. Yay! Wait, so Greg, Bob and... Hmm... Bob, Greg and Bill. Yay, my new friends. Dexterity, range damage, weapon elemental damage. How do I get better mana then? Whatever, let's get magic. Mana's probably done by just leveling up overall, isn't it? Same with health. Oh, he looks mean. Kaboom. 
boom. Alright, I'm not too sure where I'm meant to go, so I'm just gonna follow this place. But no, just from looking at how the game is and like how everything is done, you can definitely tell it's made by the creators of Diablo. It's just got that style of it and pretty much the same play game. Yeah. Gameplay to it. <laughs> But no, it is enjoyable. Get some mana then. I will kill you with my pimp stuff. Wait, what level am I? Am I big enough level for that? Yay! See, they have these things here, why don't you just take them and like attack the town? Get some health out. Must be getting near the end of this mine now, it's getting a bit repetitive now. That's another thing, when it came to Diablo, the repetitiveness of it, like, it wasn't that big due to the fact that you're playing with friends, that made it a lot more enjoyable. Whereas Torchlight is just solo, so you don't really get that atmosphere when you play on co-op. But later in 2012, they are bringing out a torchlight too, so we've got that to look forward to. And torchlight 2 will include co-op with it. So they're creating that to hopefully rival Diablo 3 with that upcoming release. I took at the map. A. Kaboom! Kaboom? Aww. Oh. I have a fi- Oh god, he's almost attacking me. <laughs> Hello, there we go. Turn the map back off. Not you. Wait. You know what I totally forgot about? I forgot to get my good friend Bob. Where's Bob? Alright. Get some mana then. Ah, sweet. Alright, so we have Greg. Yeah, what's the good Greg? I'll find Bob and Bill eventually. Dark music. It means the boss is near. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Hey, door. Hello, Mr. Wait, why were you down there, Wolf? Don't you guess that there's a door? 
Hello. Now I have you. What have you done with Ulrich? He's behind you. Hello. I am here, Brink. I sent for Syl, but I don't recall inviting you or your friend. You may still prove useful, however. Okay. Still. Okay, so we're under attack. I think we've got a genius over here running into the laser. That's a smart hello. Oh no! Go on, wolf dog a thing attack. Hurt him. Mana potion. I'm sorry, Brink. I thought we had something special. Come on, Greg. Get him. Get him, Greg. Yeah. Loot, 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 Alas, my friend, you are dead. No, I killed him. This is Ulrich's doing? And his summons was a trap. But why? The corruption here must have overwhelmed his mind. I can't believe it's so powerful. Yes, yes. I see it's touched you as well. Light is spreading through you. And if we don't find a way to stop it, you'll meet the same fate as Brink. I'm sorry I brought you into this. I'll do my best to cure you. Meet me in Okay, I shall see you there. My plan. You have begun a quest. A quest. Right. Identify the tainted focus. You know what? Drop. Me in a drop. Me in the drop. Me in the drop. Alright, let's move on. Just... Identified ring. Alright. This appears to be the end of the quest. Alright, that seems to be the end. Thank you for watching. The game is available on Steam for £13, so if you want to buy it, I will leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching, goodbye. Yay!